and welcome back to the channel you're watching a Ritter Bit Will Do. And today we are out at the school again. And today we have the trenching bucket here on the tractor. This is a trenching bucket made by Artillion. And this is a new and improved trenching bucket. They've had a couple different versions of this. The first version they had did not have these serrated edges right here. And now it does. This is the newest one. And this one has some teeth on the front of it that are interchangeable. And I happen to have a couple different sets here with me today and if you guys watch biff's equipment with mike all right guys so i just got loaded up here for a job we got to do this morning so what we're going to be bringing with us today is the artillion paddle fork frame with the 16 inch front hoe bucket but i do have the ripper front teeth installed these are the add-on teeth that artillion is selling they're selling a bunch of different style teeth for the front of these buckets i've got the ripper teeth on it right now i feel like they're going to work really well for digging up those smaller roots coming off the bushes so we're going to give these a try today was highly involved in designing some teeth for the front artillion bucket and I'm really looking forward to giving these a try see what uh, see if these are are going to be worth it now as you can see the differences one just has vertical teeth and this one has vertical and horizontal teeth and on both sets the teeth are all serrated so they should have they should have no problem ripping through those Siberian elm roots all right we're going to put uh, I think we'll start with this one and then we'll switch over to this one and see if I notice a difference. I, I don't know if I'm going to notice much of a difference, but, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. So we're going to switch it over right now and we're going to go rip up some, some smaller Siberian elm. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I found a couple smaller Siberian elm that we should have no trouble tearing out with the uh, with the trenching bucket. I always want to call it a stump bucket, but Artillion calls it a trenching bucket. But uh, we're going to pull these out. There's one right here. There's one right there. There's another couple over there, actually. There's three or four of them over there. Yep. We'll get rid of these ones. We'll see how long it takes. You guys enjoy the show. It's always fun ripping these suckers out of the ground. Look at this though. Look at how those teeth just got in there and grabbed right on. Wow. <laughs> it's just wedged in there tight right in between those teeth. Look at that. Look at that gnarly nasty root. These are the worst tree. Man they're so invasive. Oh and these stringy stringy roots are terrible. Oh man, I just, just whipped myself in the face with one of those roots. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's the greasiest, gnarliest, just twisted. Look at it. It's like a giant carrot that just keeps going down and down and down. This is probably the best way to get them. I, uh, I can tell the difference. These teeth really hold on to the root better. They do. They do a nice job of that. So um, we're just going to keep at it. We're going to go to our next victim. 
and pull it out of the ground too. We're gonna have all kinds of fun. Pulling Siberian elms right out of the ground with this Artillion trenching bucket. <laughs> all right, let's get going. Let's find our next one. Tearing these out seems to take longer than it should. You get down into the ground there, it's just greasy, gross, nasty, grows sideways and upside down. And you can tell that this one was cut at one point and uh, it grew back. And I guarantee this will grow back too. This uh, this isn't this isn't done. We'll have to be back here in about probably five years, and we'll be doing this again maybe run these things over with a flail mower or something when they're small, try to keep them from getting too big. That would probably help. We might go switch the teeth on that stump bucket. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go switch the teeth and then we'll come back and we'll see if the other teeth are any better or any worse at getting these Siberian elm roots out. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. All right, let's get her going. So one of the issues that I was having with this uh, tooth attachment was that this center part, this V here, would get jammed up with some tall grass and it would get wedged in there and it made it less effective, I think. Now, that's a problem unique to this situation because I'm working in tall grass. I think if you were working in just like regular conditions where you're not in a field with super tall grass and you're just pulling stumps or small brush you know it might not be that big of a deal so uh, I think that was kind of hampering my work so I think the other tooth I think this attachment actually will do a better job because I won't have that problem with grass getting wedged in the middle so it's all an experiment we're gonna give this one a try and see if there's an improvement Let's go try that. Let's take another look at this root system that we tore out from that last one. I mean, it's just nasty. 
that's where it was cut before and it just started growing back up all over the place and from every which way it just goes out spreads out crazy nasty root system it really is it looks like an alien all right I got this all piled up in one spot because I'll come back here with the grapple I'll get all of this material in the grapple and haul it way off out of the sight out of mind away from our students at the school because as I mentioned in the last video they have a tendency to drag all of those sticks all of the <laughs> anything rocks whatever it is students have a tendency to drag it back to the school I don't understand why <laughs> but I guess it is what it is all right let's put those new teeth to work Well, surprise, surprise, look at this. You'd think that this wasn't so big, right? But because it was cut several years ago, here's the original stump. And because no stump killer was applied to it, all the branches shot up off of the side and it started growing a new tree. Now, I don't know if I can get this one with the stump bucket. I mean, if you look here, I just, I broke through this root here and it's wiggling a little bit. I'm going to give it a try. We'll try it for a few more minutes. If we don't get it, we might have to call it quits, but uh, hey, <laughs> it's tractor time, right? I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun too. Let's see what happens. are just nasty aren't they they're just crazy they look like aliens I don't know they remind me of some kind of kind of uh, alien life form I guess just terrible they are invasive after all so I'm gonna get the grapple on I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff like I was saying before out of sight out of mind for the uh, for the students here at the school so they don't drag all these branches way back up to the building for whatever odd reason um, and we're going to clean it up. So you guys have seen grapple work before, so I'm not going to show that. So what I'll do right now is we're going to sign off. I, I hope you guys give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're new here, uh, leave a comment. Let me know where you're from. And until next time, everybody, 
keep on tractoring and God bless.